Well, in the N10, only one team remains in this postseason of basketball play, and we are covering that team tonight. We're talking about the boys of Cary. The Blue Devils are still in it. That's after the two N10 champions were ousted last night. The N10 champions from the boys' side, the Colonel Crawford Eagles. They were 23-0, and they fell to Willard. So the run for the Eagles is suddenly done. The flashes move on. As for the N10 champions for the girls, the Buckeye Central Buckettes, they fell to the Bulldogs of Columbus Grove. That was a big upset in Division Four. But it's the tournament. These things can happen. So for now, it's up to Carey to carry the banner for the N10. Now, Mohawk did have the opportunity to represent the conference in this game, but unfortunately for the Warriors, they lost by a single point on Tuesday to the Senecas of Tiffin Calvert. And Calvert head coach John Utterbacher recognized just how fortunate his team was to get through that contest. Second half, we played a lot better defensively. We closed out harder on the threes and did a good job of taking them out of their comfort zone after they got real smooth in the second quarter. Well, last time that we spoke with Kerry head coach J.B. Young was last week after his team got an opening round victory over North Baltimore. And one thing he emphasized was the importance of strong D if you want to have a strong run. Well, I think we'll need to come out and, and be a little bit more locked in defensively than we were today in the first half. Uh, you know, we were allowing North Baltimore to, to go where they want and catch the ball where they want. And, and we can't do that with our athletes. I know we got in some foul trouble and Bryce Conte got – got knocked out of the game but I mean other than that we we, we got to be locked in and, and and we weren't as locked in as we needed to be and we will have to be that that on Friday if we want to if we want to come out of this and successful well it seems that his players listened that Friday game that he was referring to one week ago sectional final against Hopewell Loudon the Blue Devils held the Chieftains to 28 points and route to a 34-point victory. And then Kerry followed that up on Tuesday, game that we had for you on Magic 95-9, against number one seed Old Four, holding the Stockaders to a season-low 45 points. So, wow. Old Four is out. Kerry still in. And Calvert recognizes that the challenge tonight against the Blue Devils is significant. They're, it's a good quality team. They're big and strong and physical. They can shoot. They defend extremely well. And they're going to get after it just like Mohawk did tonight. The Finley District Championship game is set for tonight from Liberty Benton, 7 o'clock start time. Number three, Carey, taking on number two, Calvert. So we hope you can join us for all the live play-by-play, -play, which we'll have for you on Magic 95.9, magic959.com, the free iHeartRadio app.